All right, Mom. We kind of left uh, our our viewer, our audience, hanging. And actually, I want to. Well, say hi first, Mom. Oh, hi. It's Miracle Mom and Michael. Here we are. Uh, I want to talk first. In, you know, in this segment, Mom's gonna uh, blow my mind. No, I don't know. She's gonna talk about something, and I'm gonna have an opinion. And we'll, we'll blow my mind. We'll, we'll see where this goes. Um, but I want to first. I want to talk to you. I'm pointing at the camera. I'm not talking to okay. you, Mom, but I am. I am talking to you. But I'm talking to you, the person listening to this right now. I don't know how many people are going to listen to this, but we do have a bit of an audience. It seems uh, we're start oh. right. I don't mean a live audience. I mean there are people watching our videos, right, Mom? Oh, yeah. That's who I'm talking to, and I don't know everyone who's listening. In fact, I may not know any of the people who are listening and watching, but I just want to say thank you for watching and listening. Uh, if it, I always felt that even if it's just mom and I doing this, talking to each other, it's worth it. But, uh, you know, if, if people are interested in my mom's life or if people are interested in what's going on with her son, or if, if you, the, the viewer, are a friend of mine and are just, you know, amused by what's going on here between Miracle Mom and Michael. Uh, thank you. And the only, if you want to pass this on, I encourage you, pass it on. Hit subscribe and and forward this link or any of the videos you watch. Keep in mind that you, know, you have the power in your hands to pass this on to someone else. Uh, and it could grow. Why here's not? My, here's what I feel about it. And when you started it, <clears throat> this was my prayer. I said to God, you know, we don't know why this this is why this is coming along the way it is, but I want it for God's glory. And if God wants to use what you're doing to glorify him, then that means whoever may be coming in and listening maybe there's something that we'll be saying that will give them hope or encouragement or that's that's kind of how i see this you know we are ordinary people who have an extraordinary god and you don't know where people are in their lives so right. that's kind of how i feel about it and and miracles are real oh yeah and Tell me. so, I, and one of the things I say is every time I hear your voice and every breath you take is, is miraculous because you're supposed to, you, you know, by all measure, you should have died and you didn't. Well, somebody wanted to be dead and it didn't work. Yeah. So, all right. So thank you for watching. Um, I'll, I'll do this every now and then just, uh, 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 kind of a commercial in the middle of a segment. Um, just. I encourage you to subscribe because then you'll get notifications of every every new video we post and it it you know when subscriber you know uh, the subscriber count increases that looks good and it helps the word get around but also pass the link on if you're watching on as a result of mom's Facebook post you know forward that link or post it on your page or you know do something simple like that or if if I emailed you a link if that's how you found this for that forward that link to someone else there done with the commercial now mom you so we were talking about uh, Christophany I was you know explaining what a Christophany is in our previous segment and you said one occurred recently in the news yeah this was just a couple of days ago <clears throat> and I I saw a news, it was, you know, on the internet, a news um, story that was printed by this, whatever the web page was, and it reported, I'm not sure which country it was in, it was a Muslim nation. I don't know if it was Iran or a Muslim nation in Africa. However, a terrorist group had attacked a Christian church, 
some some believers in this Muslim nation, whichever one it was, and they came and they 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 took the Christians and they lined them up, and they they took machine guns and they separated the adults from the children. They put the children over, you know, in a separate location, but close to the adults, and they shot and killed all of the adult Christians. And then all of a sudden, one of the children, I think they said there were seven children that were off to the side. All of the, one of the children suddenly turned and screamed at, at these terrorists. It was the, the Boko Harim terrorists, whoever they are, mm -hmm. who were doing this killing and screamed. I see Jesus, it's Jesus, I see Jesus. And when this child yelled that and screamed that, these terrorists all turned at the child and whatever their language is that they spoke, said, it's snakes, it's snakes, it's snakes. And the terrorists all ran and the children were saved. Where did you read this? Oh, boy, you know, it was something called The Light Review, which it looked like a, a Christian news outlet of some sort. I'm going to have to try to go back and find it. And, of course, when I looked at it, I thought I need to write this down. Well, and I, I, don't, I don't know that it's important for you to go back and find it because this, that kind of thing happens all the time. And it just doesn't get reported or picked well, up. In the modern world, no, you don't hear. It doesn't get in the mainstream news for sure. Right. That's. But I just thought to myself, these are the things that are going on in places of the world that we know nothing about, and I fully believe God has the capability to enter in at His at His choice. Mm-hmm. For his reasons. So that was the story, and now I wish I would have saved it. Well, let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, is that a Christophany? <laughs> I don't uh, know. It, it very well could have been. Um, there, I like to speculate uh, about... You know, I mean, the Bible is... Uh, it's a long book, but... At the end of one of the Gospels, I think it might be the end of the Gospel of John, John point blank says the world could not contain the volumes yeah, if I wrote right. down everything that Jesus did and said. The, the world just couldn't yeah. contain them all. So really, in the four Gospels, we're getting just a kind of cursory overview of three years of of uh, yeah. of a full, full ministry of Jesus going everywhere doing incredible miracles and just preaching and teaching. And right. so then Jesus is crucified, resurrects, spends another 40 days, and then he goes away. And this is a kind of a tease for another uh, Bible chat segment that I want to do. Um, he, he says, unless I go away, the helper cannot come. We're not going to handle that here and now, but that'll be a tease for... Uh, tomorrow's uh, Bible chat segment. So, okay. um, but so he ascends. Uh, he's caught up in the air. Or uh, there's that passage, and it's one of the most perplexing passages in all of Scripture. What happened to Jesus after those forty days? They saw him caught up, and the angel said, "The angels were standing there. Why are you looking? You know, Jesus will come back in the same way that you saw him go." And there's a lot of speculation and, and disagreement about what that means. But the fact of the matter is, he is alive still. Like, he is active in the right. world today, everywhere where there are Christians. We are the body of Christ, right? Yep. We are right. his flesh. When you accept Jesus into your heart, you're transformed. It's, a, it's something that it's, can't be explained uh, other than that it's true and when you experience it you know it right there's no right. 
there, there's not a realm of explanation outside of the purely theological truth, right? Like, there's no scientific process to explain when a person goes from uh, death to life, <laughs> right? There's no, uh, right. you know, formula or calculation or properties of physics that it's just out of the realm. Um, but there are, there are philosophical arguments, but the, purely theologically, uh, Jesus is alive and active in the world today, and he has been for 2,000 years. And so when you hear these kind of accounts of uh, evil being perpetrated on God's chosen, like those who follow him and love him, uh, there's the argument, well, why didn't Jesus stop every bullet from those machine guns? Uh -huh. it, that there, there is something going on that we don't fully understand. You know what? What I forgot to mention was the reason those Christians were slaughtered was because the terrorists demanded that they deny their God and you know convert to Islam, and they refused. They absolutely refused. So they slaughtered them. And the children were separated, and, and I'm. And the children were separated. And and one of the reasons, and and I mean, this has been happening through history. The children are can can be more susceptible to conversion. Like they can take the children and right. use them as slaves, or convert them, or they'll of be course. more more easily converted. But in this case, in the story you're talking about, it, it makes me think of that verse where Jesus says. Um, The, gosh, I'm, I'm going to butcher it, but um, it cautions those who will attack the children that because there are angels, the children have, these little ones have angels watching them. Gosh, I'll have to look this up and, 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 and do, yeah. a, do a whole segment on it. But there's, there's a, a particular... I, I would say rage or wrath that God has for those who would attack oh, children yeah. and a, a, a greater protection, if you will, spiritually. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of detractors to what I'm about to say, but Jesus appearing to the children and then showing snakes to the perpetrators. Yeah, the uh, snakes mean something to the Islam and, and, ideology. And it sounds like it it sent them running. Oh, yeah. Right? And so... The story described, they disappeared and ran. They ran and disappeared and never came back. And so the children were protected as a result. So the, right, the children were saved. Well, Mom, um, let's wrap this one up. But from now on, when you come across stories like that, you know to file it. <laughs> File it and bring it in and read it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll do my diligence. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mom. And uh, let's wrap this up. Say bye, Mom. Okay. Bye, everyone. See y'all. Keep coming back.